Okay, I want to welcome you back here to Old Time Garage. Hope you all had a good uh, Christmas and a good New Year's. Um, we pretty much worked right through it. What else were we going to do? Anyway, uh, so here we are. We're back. As you can see here in the photo, I got little jeans, a uh, little 41 Ford is sitting up here by the hoist. Um, we've got the body all unbolted now. We've gone underneath, unbolted all the body. We took the running boards off. We made sure there was nothing, you know, no exhaust clamps hanging off the floorboards or anything like that that can get in the way when we go to lift the body off of the frame. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of figured it. When you get when you get up in here in this car, it did have some rust. If you if you would have watched the first video on this, you'll see it on my YouTube thing. It's called 41 Ford. You'll see, you know, it was kind of rusted. I had kind of rusted here. This is a new camera for me, so excuse me. But it's kind of rusted up in, up in this area, up in here. And um, Gene is just trying to build himself an old school car that looks like it's from back in the 50s that you'd seen a parking lot at a high school. You know, he wants to, he's reliving his youth. He's like, I remember when I was young and in the school, high school parking lot back in the 50s and that. There was these cars with primer spots on them and they looked so cool and guys were building them up and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do here is... You know, we've kind of on both sides, as you can see, we've cut, we've cut the rust, we've cut the rust out of there, and um, I welded in some patches for them, and it kind of took care of that. But unfortunately, what else is going on, which you can't see at the moment, but in the area underneath the uh, underneath this area right here, that I'll focus in on underneath this this whole area here. I guess you'd call it the rocker panel on this car. Underneath there, it looks good on the outside, but in behind there like all cars, there's a back wall and it's completely rotted away. So, it, you know, we noticed that as soon as we took, as soon as we took the, um, the running boards off, we saw the rust and it's just, it's just all rotten in there. And I, I was kind of suspecting that. I knew it was going to happen. Gene doesn't know yet. I got to get hold of Gene and let him know what's going on here with the rust. Um, but I mean, it'll be a perfect time to fix it now because the nice thing is, is that the car is coming off the frame so you can fix it properly. You can get in there and, uh, and that'll that'll solve all of his all of his problems there. So I guess what we're going to do next here is uh, we're going to get set up here and uh, going to wait for old Davy Boy to show up to work. He's coming in late today. Um, I don't know what his excuse is. He doesn't drink, so he can't be hung over. Uh, but he did say something about he had to go and get his meds. And uh, well, if you've seen him in videos, he he kind of does need meds. At least I, I think he does. You have to write in and let me know what you think about that. But once Davy Boy gets here, we will get back on Gene's little 41. We'll get some videotaping done. And uh, we'll get the hoist arms underneath it, and hopefully, um, hopefully the body's solid enough where the hoist can lift her up and it doesn't fall through. Um, I hope so, Gene. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good little car Gene's got here, so we're going to lift it off. We're going to get the frame rolled out from underneath it, and uh, that's it. So we will be right back at you here. Okay. Okay, well, here we are. Old Davy boy showed up. He couldn't find any meds. Yeah, you can, you can raise her off. Here we go. The 41's coming off the frame. Don't forget our steering column in there, David. May hit. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, I think we're good there. Second floor, ladies and I think the column might might hit. We have to roll the frame out. Anyway, there you go, people. We're just uh, concluding here. We're lifting the body off the frame. Dave is here. It's all good. He's gonna roll it out. Oh, is he gonna hit? Well, we, actually, we should just stand back and watch all this. We won't bother helping him. Let's see how good he is here. Let's see. You can continue. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's got it. He's got it coming down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pull, old man, pull. <laughs> okay, he's, uh, he's running over my tarp and my nice carpet I like to lay on. Yeah, he's, yeah, that's it. Okay, okay. There we go. Awesome, awesome. Let's see how bad this thing is. Should we put it down before it falls down? No, we better put it up. It shouldn't. Ah, oh, it shouldn't fall down, should it? We need more work. Yeah. It's all about the work. You think? Do you trust it? Do you think that's high enough? I'll take a picture of what's not there. Oh, how do you work this thing? This is new to us. So as we can see, we got rust in behind here. Oh, and here we go. If you're out there watching, Gene, there it all is. I mean, I don't know if you can see this. We're running along the, uh, if I holler, Dave, you know it fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'll come after a while. <laughs> you funny boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there it is. You can see the whole back here. If you can see it very good in this video, the whole back of the rocker is completely rotten. All up underneath. 
There you go, you get a good view of that. She's completely rusted. And no, don't try this at home. Don't sit underneath a vehicle like this. Uh, how are we doing here? The floors are all solid. We got some rust happening here on the uh, passenger side of the rocker panel. If you're out there watching Gene, it looks like the back side of that is on its way out also. Here we go, it looks like the, uh, it looks like the bees. Oh, I can't get it out of there, but anyway, we got a, uh, we got a wasp nest or a hornet's nest or something that was growing up in there. Other than that though, honestly, as you, as you look in here, it looks like a good solid car. So that's it. So we are, um, oh, I'm sorry for this video, all you YouTubers, I'm new to this, it's screwing up here. There's the frame. Jeans had the gas tank out of it, redone. Um, there we go. Like I say, it's a 41 Ford Coupe. There's the old flathead motor still hanging in there. And, uh, whoops. That is it. So, there's the frame, there's the body, sitting up on the hoist, and we are done. We will talk to you later. I'm going to get to work now, because I'm just horrible at doing this filming. This is probably one of the worst videos we'll ever do. Dave is somewhere. Dave is, Dave is gone over in here. He's, uh, where is Dave? Actually, there, there, there's Dave hiding behind the Chevelle. Oh, he's napping. Yeah, he couldn't find his meds. <laughs> I thought he was going to get meds for his dog, but apparently Dave needs meds too, so. <laughs> anyway, he's going to hang out later tonight when it gets dark out. He's going to be on the street corner. So anyone out there selling meds, he's got a couple bucks on him, so if you can help him out. <laughs> Pharmaceutical meds. Yeah, that's right, pharmaceutical. So he's he's working on the Chevelle. We've moved the Chevelle into another bay here now, and uh, it's sitting on a uh, it's just sitting on a dolly that we have, so we can roll it around. And that's it. Okay, see you later. Bye. Okay, so we're back here, and uh, it's been a couple hours here on this video. Like I say, I'm making my own little videos at home here. My beautiful assistant is not helping me today. So uh, we're back here, as I just showed you. We just took Jean's car off of the frame. And as you can see, we'll get a close-up view in here. I don't know if you remember what we've done here now is, if you look carefully here, I have cut out the rust and I've welded some patches in for Gene. Now, this job what I've done, that's the driver's side you're looking at there. Passenger's side was just a small little patch right in this area right here as you can see. Now what I've done, Gene is, um, Gene is in his, Gene's uh, I think he's 70 years old now. And, he, and like I was saying earlier, he just wants to remember his high school days, you know. And his high school days were seeing little 41 Ford Coupes. He really has a thing for them and, and Model A's and stuff like that. And he just basically wants to build a car like he remembers from, from back in the day when he was going to high school where the young guys had them in the parking lots and they were in primer and they had blotches of paint and primer blotches all over and they were working on them and trying to build them. And, you know, he just, he's not, I guess what I'm trying to say here is Gene is not trying to build a hundred thousand even a forty thousand dollar hot rod he's not trying to do that so what I've done here where I put the patches in we'll get a closer we'll get a closer view here let me get oh up inside here the old bones are getting tired and tired today it's been a long day as you can see inside here it was you can see the bottom bottom down there as you can see inside it was kind of rusted I cut out the rust and what I did here was I cut the rust back until there was no more rust and I left around an eighth of an inch overlap. So I've overlapped the metal an eighth of, a, eighth of an inch, uh, one eighth of an inch over top. Pardon me. Definitely getting tired. As you can see, here's the passenger side. We're still working on it here. We'll, we'll back up. So as you can see, I've, I've put a piece of metal up in here. I've brought it down. I cut out the area that was rotten behind here. This is all new metal. I've cut this like I'm doing here. Like you can see, I'm cutting this out. I'm putting a piece in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap it right up on here. And then we're going to come back. We still got a bit more cutting to do back here. And we're going to overlap it back in here. And you know, because it's good and solid back in here. Now, is that the proper way of doing it? A lot of guys maybe will do it that way. Um, it's not exactly the way that I like to do things. I prefer to cut and butt weld everything and grind all the welds and seams off. So there's a... Uh, there's nothing showing later. I'll give you a little tour there of the car inside. Let me get the hell out of here now. Oh. So, um, normally, like I say, normally what I like to do 
is I like to butt weld everything in and grind the welds down on either side so you can't tell it's been, it's been, it's been monkeyed with. Uh, but Gene, like I say, he's just building a, a cool little cruiser. It's, it's the bottom areas that we're doing. It's all covered up with the fenders. I mean, honestly, you know, just, just like in here, as you can see in here, um, I cut, this was all rotten in here. I cut it all out. There's good solid metal here. What I did was I, I grinded it down good in there and I just, I just overlapped it by just, you know, a, a minute bit is what I've overlapped it. And you know what? The honest to God truth is, is that's not going to rust in our lifetime. So there you go. I mean, is it the proper way? It's, it's not a hundred percent the proper way. And I'm not afraid to admit that on this video. But we're working within Gene's budget, and, and Gene doesn't want to get carried away in this car like I keep saying over and over again. So this is going to be a cool little car for Gene. Um, you know, you guys have to stay tuned to this video, watch it as it comes along. Here we'll take a quick peek and we'll take a look at it outside the frame now that it's all pressure washed. Let's go check that out here. Here we'll, we'll take the walkthrough. I'll take you guys through the whole walkthrough of the shop here as we're leaving. Don't point me. I keep shutting the camera on and off here. It's a nuisance. So we're going to go outside. There's my 52 Chevy hardtop. I've just... Uh, just pulling the differential apart and re just rebuilt the differential. I've got to put that back in. And uh, yeah, there, there's Big Red. I call my 76 GMC Big Red. Even though it looks orange to you, it is red. Okay, let's take a let's take a gander out here. And if you remember from one of my other videos, there's our 56 Pontiac that I picked up. Okay, here is Jean's frame. And uh, I got her all pressure washed and cleaned as you can see. I mean look how nice and clean that frame is. That frame is just looking beautiful. The frame is good and solid and um, you know everything is cleaned up and what we're doing here with the frame now uh, as I have mentioned in other videos I am taking the frame over to my good buddy Bruce Brown. Bruce has already built up a flathead motor for it with a tri-power finned heads. He's got an adapter kit on it with a uh, S10 5 speed. We're going to run an open drive shaft and a newer differential in the back. Gene is going to be putting a drop axle in it and I believe he's probably obviously he's going to be upgrading the braking system too. So that's Gene's whole plan. So that way there it's a little more um, you know, it's a little more fun to cruise with a five-speed behind a flathead. For those guys you out there that have lots of flathead motors, or, or even guys that are learning about flathead motors, um, definitely the S10 five-speeds are definitely the way to go. It's a it's a huge difference to put them on. Um, so I'll take a little walk through. On my very first video, you remember the guy that had no money? There's his Mercury. We're slowly working on it. There's our Chevelle frame right there from our 68 Chevelle that's in the shop that we're doing the frame off on. Here's our, uh, this is the newest project. This is a 57 GMC pickup. It was in one of the videos. The owner has decided not to sell it and he wants us to continue building this truck. So we're going to be doing all the paint and body work on it. And uh, let's go around here. There's my little 56 Pontiac again. How many times can I say that? This is my 65 Chev pickup. It is a, uh, it's got every factory option you can imagine except for power steering other and air conditioning. Other than that came with every option. And uh, I've owned that truck since I was 18 years old, and my dad actually bought that truck in 1972. He bought it when it was seven years old. So it's been in the family since 1972. Um, and there's my little 49 Ford Coupe with this chop. There it is sitting there right there. And that's going to be one of our projects too that you're going to see in one of the future videos. So anyway, enough bullshit about my own stuff. Um, there we are. There's Jean's frame. It's on the trailer. She's ready to go. And uh, Big Red there is going to tow her away. And I think this is one of the shittiest videos I've ever done because I'm not used to having someone here not filming me. I'm not used to me doing all the talking and walking around and I'm probably just babbling and babbling on. There's my little lean-to over there where I got my Black Betty, my 49 Ford pickup I chopped, and my 58 Ford two-door sedan that I'll be working on pretty quick. But anyway, okay you guys, well, stay tuned for the next video. And um, here we'll get back in the shop, get out of the cold. There we go. Well, anyway, and yes, the Dodge pickup is still here. As you can, a quick, a quick glimpse there, we have got the doors on it. We've got the doors on, the glass in, but we'll deal with that later. We'll give you the finished product when it's all done. We'll show it to you then. Um, that's about that. So anyway, onward and upward. We're going to get back to Gene's car. So remember, it's always a good time here at Old Time Garage, or at least that's what I tell everyone. So if you're not out in your garage building something, remember the old motto they used to say, I can't remember the show, but they used to say, if you're not cruising, you're losing. So get with it, boys. There's my big thumbs up, because I haven't learned to turn the camera around to show you what I look like yet. <laughs> but anyway, I will talk to you later, and have a good day, and we will see you on the next video. Okay, bye.